I don't know, like, I've, I've always been like a big dreamer. Hello, this is your dream speaking. Hey, I'm Tyler Tito. But it never used to be like a reality, reality for us. Especially in South Africa, like there's not a lot of people that make it out. Growing up in Johannesburg gave me my edge. I'm a piano is growing. I'm so proud. We are just being from South Africa is just a flex. The dance style, the facial expressions, like everything that is Tyler comes from Johannesburg and South Africa. <laughs> Like, the first time out of South Africa was because of this music thing. So, it's literally been amazing. Meeting literally Chris Brown, SZA, Miguel, all these people we literally listen to all the time. It's literally crazy. I remember, like, America didn't really seem like a real place, eh? Like, Obviously, we see it in movies, and everyone is from there that's famous, but it never felt like a real place. Literally, the first time I went to America, I was literally like, wow. Like, I was literally like, what the heck? I'm literally in America. But I get so homesick. For real? Yeah. I feel like thinking about it, like, it's crazy. Like, it's hard to believe, like, you're really performing with Chris Brown. But, like, when you're home, it's normal. It's not like anything's changed. But you'll go. I remember when I when mom gave birth to Tyler and she came out holding her mic. <laughs> <laughs> when I was young, I also was singing, and uh, even though I also wanted to be a star, but at that time. You know, it just wasn't good, you know, good and easy for us. But there's a star, and I'm a star too. <laughs> because when she goes out into the world and performs, I'm there with her. I see the world through her eyes. Thanks. So don't forget I'm the star. <laughs> I remember everywhere we went, mommy put you on the spot. Oh. Yeah. Every opportunity, my mother would make me sing. It was amazing. Yeah, you know why, Tyler? Because you just touched my heart. Every time I felt sad, I thought, okay, I'll hear Tyler. Then the others would try and make me feel better by rapping, but I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? It was worth it. It sparks a lot of memories, even standing here, remembering all the moments, all the laughs, all of the auditions, all the rehearsals that we had, even in the space. And I would always audition for the biggest role. Like, even if the character didn't make sense, I would literally always audition for the biggest role. But I mean, like, ever since then, like, I kept pushing, I kept auditioning for everything. All the soirees, the talent shows, I was there. And I just loved it, and in my last year of school, I ended up becoming head of culture for the school. Mm. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys. Do it again, do it again. Okay? Don't you leave me for the girl next door. Don't you leave me for the girl next door. We were so proud of you. Very. But are you yeah. destined for great things? Like, literally dreams that I've had when I was small are literally happening. It's like, um, unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Mm. Goodbye, goodbye, bye. We need to go, we need to go, we need to 
go.